Ladies and gentlemen, in the 90s of the last century and the early 2010s in Ho Chi Minh City and some provinces in the southeast region, a series of sudden deaths of unknown causes occurred. Before death, the all victims have the same clinical symptoms such as dizziness, convulsions, slow breathing, discrete heart rate, coma, and eventually death, because the symptoms are quite similar to those of an ischemic stroke heart attack, cerebrovascular accident, so the victims were all concluded by the medical care facility as dying related to the above diseases and no one questioned or suspected anything. However, for the police agency, those mass deaths are not normal, so the mission to find the real cause of these sudden deaths has been quietly planned by the police forces of the relevant provinces and cities under the direction of the Ministry of Health. Police, a series of sudden deaths of unknown cause is a coincidence or an outside influence, what is the truth the journey to find a solution is extremely difficult in one, persistence of the police force investigation. It, it must have been about an hour by then. Then she was on duty, she was about to rest now, she was about to come down to take her rest when she saw him sitting at the door going in and out, next to her, she said that at noon, he would also come back to rest. I replied to her, but when I saw him, it seemed that I felt that way, I was tired and leaned against the door frame, so he replied, yes, I think I feel tired, let me sit and rest for a while. A little, then she went on vacation, she went to eat, so she didn't know what to do next. At 16 o'clock, people were found lying in the temple grounds, the abbot reported it to the local police, immediately, professional units of Binduang province police were present at the Tibetan temple to examine the scene, perform an autopsy, determine the cause of death of the victim. Taken to the provincial hospital. Binduang for surgery find the cause of death. At that time, Binduang Province's Police Investigation Agency organized an examination of the autopsy site, performed an autopsy but did not obtain toxic substances. If there are no other symptoms, the forensic doctor will only conclude that death is due to pathology. After the incident of Mr. Vio Hu Kim in Binduang Province, Binfuth Province and Ho Chi Minh City, many more happened. Sudden death of unknown cause. This is Nguyen T. Sang sleeping in Hamlet 3, Tam Dinh Commune, Ben Kat District, Bin Duong Province is one of the cases where she had to experience the sudden pain of losing a loved one. Ms. Tran T. was born in Dok Lak District, the eastern bus station of Ho Chi Minh City, according to Ms. Trang, Mr. Dong is in very good health with no underlying medical conditions, but it is unclear why he suddenly died at Gia Hospital. Din my friend who also rides in a car said that Mr. Dong is now suffering from the wind under the hospital, so I have to take advantage of calling a taxi down there thinking that I should be okay, he is fine, but when I get off, I see I don't know a day later on the way from Ho Chi Minh City to Bin Duong to visit Mr. Dong's funeral, Mrs. Tran T. Sin, the owner of the car that Mr. Dong rented, also suddenly died two deaths a day apart has raised doubts. Once again the police agency is present to excavate the body and collect samples for examination to determine the cause of death of Mr. Dong and Sin. The study analyzed the clinical manifestations of the two victims before death combined with the results of antibodies, especially the results of microsurgery by the criminal technical force, confirming that Mr. Disease that is more likely to be poisoned.
Ladies and gentlemen, although it is suspected that the victims died from poisoning, the investigating agency at that time could not determine exactly what kind of poison it was because no poison was found in the victims' bodies while they were intoxicated. The investigative agency was having a headache to find a solution to the death of Mr. Dong and Mrs. Sin, but a week later, they received an application from Ms. Tran T. Sin's relative accusing Ellie Tan Van, born in 1956, living in Ward 11, District 10, Ho Chi Minh City. Ho Chi Minh fraudulently appropriated the Asian passenger car 53 and 3259 which is the property of Ms. Sin and the family of Bin Duong Province's police investigation agency, after verifying the denunciation. An urgent arrest warrant was made for Ellie Tan Van to investigate the crime of fraud and appropriation of property. During the arrest and emergency search of Van's residence, the investigating agency obtained a plastic bottle containing a white powder inside from Ellie Tan Van's bag. The question about the death of Mr. Dong, born at that time, strongly raised the opinion that Ellie Tan Van was most likely involved in the deaths of the victims to appropriate property, so the police agency sent a powder to collect them. Be kept to the Criminal Science Institute of the Ministry of Public Security to ask for an assessment of whether it is a poison or not why no. While waiting for the results of the appraisal poll of Bin Duong Province's police investigation agency continue to fight with Ellie Tan Van to clarify fraudulent tricks to appropriate property, given a handwritten note that is a car sales certificate, the content is that Ms. Sin sold the car above to Ellie Tan Van, the investigation process has proved that there is an extra word and this extra word is not a written word. Sin. So Ellie Tan Van was prosecuted for fraud and appropriation of property. Ellie Tan Van acknowledged the act of forging Ms. Sin's signature, but denied any involvement in the deaths of Mr. Dong and Ms. Sin. Ellie Tan Van cited her innocence by the fact that she was the one who took the victims to the emergency room when they breathed their last conclusion of assessment number 137 of the Criminal Science Institute of the Ministry of Public Security for no 2,8201G of white powder seized by Police Investigation Agency of Bin Duong Province from Ellie Tan Van's bag is cyanide. This is an extremely toxic substance that can kill people quickly with only a very small dose. With this conclusion, the investigating agency believes that Ellie Tan Van used Chenur to poison and kill the victim in order to appropriate their property, so it decided to change the charge of prosecuting the accused Ellie Tan Van from cheating. However, the investigation process then encountered many difficulties when the investigating agency did not find cyanide in the body of the deceased victim. Suspicion is related to Ellie Tan Van while this is the necessary scientific basis to charge Ellie Tan Van with murder the time and detention of the accused is limited while to solve the problem the above conundrum requires a lot of time and the participation of many departments, including the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Industry and Trade, the investigating agency has proposed to the control house to extend the detention period for 6 Kang Ellie Tan Van to continue the investigation, but the procuracy did not continue to extend the term. The reason was that the investigating agency had not been able to add the necessary documents and evidence at the request of the case, so it did not continue to extend the detention period. As for Ellie Tan Van, the investigating agency released the accused Ellie Tan Van. Since Ellie Tan Van was released, in Ho Chi Minh City and Bin Phu, there have continued to be four cases of sudden death suspected of being poisoned. The special thing is that all four of these cases have the shadow of Ellie Tan Van, the owner. The subject thought that the investigating agency could not prove his crime, so he took action immediately and increased the frequency, but what Van didn't anticipate was that even though he was forced to release her, he did not. This means that this case is closed, all of Van's movements are still collected by day and night scouts and above all, a meticulous and meticulous investigation plan is still quietly built by the investigative agency before the execution. Because of Ellie Tan Van's reckless moves, causing harm to people's health and life, negative impact on security and order, the police agency has achieved its immediate goal of having to detain Ellie Tan Van to prevent the police from continuing to commit crimes while the interagency agency is explaining the failure to find cyanide in the bodies of the victims in order to have convincing documents with the law agencies in the immediate future. Measures, I have to prove that cyanide is a poison to which type of poison, which group belongs to which list the state regulates me, there must be a process of consulting with scientists and ministries.
Relatedly, the Ministry of Health is determined not to use this substance for medical purposes, then only industry is the governing ministry to import this or export this, after a while with help with the help of scientists and experts, we will find the state's regulation document that stipulates that Chenur is one of the substances in the group of poisons that are prohibited from being imported into Vietnam, the most valuable document for ratification measures against Le Ton Ban for Possession of Poison After arresting the police officer of Binduang province, he proposed to transfer the case to the investigative police department of the Ministry of Public Security to focus human resources on investigating and clarifying the accused's behavior. Because with the level and ability of a provincial investigation agency, I cannot meet it, so I have to use it. That is, I have to always use the direction of the Ministry of Public Security to practice. When he gathered all the resources of forces such as experts and scientists to join in, at that time it was Comrade Major General Nguyen Viet Tong, Deputy General Director of the General Department of Police, Ministry of Public Security. If the Southern authorities directly listened to the report, the Comrade commented and suggested that Bin Duong was appropriate, then directed the investigation department to receive the file according to which the local police had a sudden death victim related to LE. Tan Van like Ho Chi Minh City Dong Nai Bin Duong Bin Phuc, increased participation in solving cases, the police investigation department of the Ministry of Public Security decided to merge all the cases occurring in the above areas into one case. The new case is collectively known as the murder, robbery, and illegal possession at the same time, it issued a decision to prosecute and extend the detention time for defendant Tan Van to investigate the crime of murder, robbery, illegal possession of poison, in addition, the investigation police department of the Ministry of Public Security also issued a decision to entrust the investigative police agency of the Tian Zhang province police to directly plan the fight to clarify the methods of criminal tricks of Le Tan Van, who was transferred to the Tian Zhang police detention center for treatment. The investigator assigned to directly interrogate the accused Le Tan Van is Mr. Fan Tan. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 years ago, the investigation and discovery of murder cases with poison, especially cyanide, faced a lot of difficulties because firstly, this was the first time such cases happened. Next is the medical literature on the process of cyanide metabolic effects after entering the human body in our country at that time, it was still very rare, the clarification of the method and tricks of the subject at that time was considered. Accepted as the key to open the case, but strictly a fault, the object of the case is not only cruel and cruel in the criminal act, but also reveals the old fox nature in dealing with the investigating agency. 22 deaths related to Le Ton Van, a hidden accomplice, sophisticated criminal methods, according to the records I studied, the victims died suddenly and were related. There are 22 people in all, if you want to exploit the object, you must now know what the psychological characteristics of this object are. Many people no longer have a chance to live, more than 20 victims died however overall the record is out, the most obvious to fight in which to pay attention to the case that killed and robbed the victim, this is Mr. Dong and Mrs. Born in Bin Duong, then chose this case, broke through, with the investigator choosing this case to fight directly with Van, the police investigation department of the Ministry of Public Security sent several reconnaissance teams at the same time. Went to verify at some locations that Van was said to have accompanied Mr. Dong and Mrs. Sin before and during the time they were poisoned and then died. The task of the scouts is to clarify before being poisoned, whether the victims eat or drink anything. If so, what kind of food is it? Pretending to be sick and then fainting and then tired, unable to work, even in many cases, unable to walk, had to send a female inmate out to work but it was not effective after coming out, had to be sent to. Although he is very healthy, but when he is in the room, when he is taken out of the room, he goes to work, never walks normally, pretends all the time pretending to have a bad leg, is not healthy. Usually, most of the time, knowing that this object is very cunning, it is enough to deal with it. But I also do not ignore the method of education, for a while, Le Ton Van asked me if she confessed to this case, what would happen to her crime. Now, if she turns herself in, the law will consider leniency according to the regulations. To re
reconnaissance teams at Giyadin Hospital and Mindong bus station verification results showed that many witnesses said that before the stroke, Mr. Both victims have symptoms of dizziness, nausea, vomiting after using food and drink, the woman accompanying her has no symptoms, in addition to the above information, the process of verifying the identity of Lee Tan Van's background, the investigating agency determined that Van lived as husband and wife with a man who was 17 years younger than her, suspecting that this guy knew what Van did, may also be an accomplice, so the investigation agency summoned this man to the police station to take testimony. Lee Tan Van has a relationship that is also known as very wide in society, but the person who's sticking with Van is only one object, the process of learning the personal history of Lee Tan Van, I learned that Tan Van and Lin Kuang are living together as husband and wife, so I have to watch in the chain caused by the Lee Tan Van case, it is not excluded that Lin Kuang will be involved and participate in or know about that case, so I fight, let me find out the first clues. At the investigation agency Kuang denied the actions of Lee Tan Van he only admitted that there was only one time with Van taking a man working as a motorbike taxi driver to the hospital. The emergency hospital when this person showed signs of being hit by the wind, then what happened to the motorbike taxi driver? Kuang did not know while Lee Tan Van had not cooperated to declare, the amount of information Kuang provided was not clear, the control agency inspectors of the Ministry of Public Security were suddenly informed by the Institute of Testing of the Ministry of Health about the results of Lee Tan Van's experiment with cyanide for experimentation on animals and the examination of the victim's organs, all of which had the same symptoms, such as vomiting, convulsions, shortness of breath, struggling leading to death but then no poison was found tonight in the body. Answering this problem, the health authorities provide scientific documents to determine that tonight in the body is lost due to many causes, sugars and aldehydes destroy toxic cyanide. Therefore, the dose of tonight if found is much smaller than the reality, the above documents are the scientific basis to prove that Lee Tan Van used cyanide to poison the victims to appropriate financial resources. However, the case until now still has a series of questions that need to be clarified, that is, the method of tricks when the subject performs the act of origin of the cyanide that Lee Tan Van actually hoards. If Kuang knows or doesn't know about Lee Tan Van's plans, invite you and your friends to continue watching. The results of the examination of the victim's organs were used by Comrade Fan Tan as a document to struggle with Lee Tan Van in the next questioning the subject's psychological fluctuations when listening to a series of reports the clinical symptoms of the victims did not pass through the detective's keen eye determined that the psychological impact of the impression, Comrade Fan Tan took another step by providing information that was the basis for the investigation. The investigative agency summoned Lin Kuang to take testimony, this detail slowed Lee Tan Van's will to cope and just a few minutes later, he would like to write a confession Mr. Nguyen Van Dong is a talent. The driver of a passenger car 53L3259 owned by Mrs. Tran T. Sin, because Mr. Dong prevented Ms. Sin from selling the car to me, so I used it when Mr. Dong went to the hospital to do procedures for Ms. Tran T. Sin. I had an idea. Intends to kill Mr. Dong to facilitate the purchase of a car by Ms. Sin, taking advantage when Mr. Dong went out, I poured cyanide dissolved into Mr. Dong's water, then Mr. Dong returned to drink poison and died at the hospital. The next day, Mrs. Sin and I took the car into a faux restaurant, taking advantage of her when she went out to get things, I made cyanide into Mrs. Sin's soft drink, then I and my driver took Ms. Sin to the hospital for emergency but didn't survive, after she gave birth, I set up a plan. Car purchase and sales certificate, fake signature of Ms. Sin but was discovered and arrested by Binduang Police Agency in relation to Lin Kuang's car. Lin Kuang investigated this car of another owner and found the address. Ms. N.A., this is a car that she bought on installments for her husband, Tran Van Khoi, to drive a motorbike taxi to earn a living. Mr. Khoi accepted the passenger's offer and disappeared since then, the system analyzed the document. Especially the seizure of the position of motorbike and evidence of the case, the investigating agency said that it is likely that Lin Kuang and Lee Tan Van poisoned and killed Mr. Tran Van Khoi to appropriate motorbikes. The investigation agency the Ministry of Public Security immediately issued a decision to prosecute Lin Kuang's detention case to investigate the murder and robbery. Kuang was then transferred to the Tianjiang Province Police Detention Center to serve the investigation. 
Here Van and Kuang were separated for testimony. While Kuang insistently denied his involvement in Mr. Koi's disappearance, he only admitted to keeping Van's motorbike 51T80623 but did not know it was. Mr. Koi's property, Le Tan Van said that he did not know what the car looked like, let alone entrusted to Kuang and constantly blamed each other, but when the investigating agency published Van's self-declaration, Mr. about having poisoned and killed Mr. Dong and Mrs. Sin to appropriate property, Kuang stopped blaming and admitted that he was involved in Mr. Koi's disappearance. Kuang Kai, after poisoning the victim, was with Le Tan. Van took Mr. Koi to the hospital for emergency treatment, and the motorbike was left by them at the bar, at the hospital, they told Mr. Koi's medical record with the name of Kite Hoa Kong, an address in Dong Nai, at 5 p.m. on the same day, they heard that the victims were about to die. Kuang and Van escaped from the hospital, went back to the bar to get the victim's motorbike, after Mr. Koi's death, the hospital could not contact his family, so the victim's body was preserved by the hospital for scientific research purposes, in many cases it was the subject of the murder. It was the subject who took the victim to the emergency hospital and it was the subject who claimed to be the victim's relative, but all of them faked the victim's name, relatives were also fake names and addresses, until the victim died or was close to death, two subjects left the hospital and left. Therefore, many cases of victims die without relatives. Le Tan Van initially denied the crime, but after the investigation agency found the body of the victim Tran Van Khoi, he gave in, the investigation agency then continued to fight with Van and prove his identity. Was the mastermind of 13 murders, including the poisoning of Mr. Vio Hu Kim, the investigative agency also used a lot of professional measures in the industry to fight the so-called contradictions in the defendant's own testimony and contradict the testimonies between the two defendants Le Tan Van and Lin Kuang so that I can fight in combination with all sources of documents and evidence and the witness as well as the medical record, all other sources I have. Sum it up so I can fight Leth Mr. Van, and I used many more measures before Le Tan Van confessed. Le Tan Van invited Mr. Vio Hu Kim to go to the Tibetan temple in Thursday Daumot town, Binduang province, on the way they both stopped foot in a bar, while Mr. Kim went to the toilet van put Chinua in Mr. Kim's drink with the aim of poisoning the victim to appropriate motorbikes, to the Tibetan temple van said that Mr. Kim went to the ceremony first and van went to see the abbot who had some personal business, Mr. Kim then absorbed poison and died at the temple, that Le Tan van's failure to appropriate the victim's motorbike was beyond t 6 will at that time, the temple promptly reported the matter to the local police. Huang, then saw that she was also aggressive, then phoned his children, phoned his children to know that his father's condition was like that, it was normal to see, like it was also what cares about you, you see, but don't know anything, all the victims who died are related and directly killed by Le Tan Van, are related to property, are related to, to the property that this Van's purpose was to kill to rob the property, but there was absolutely no detection of any victim that this Le Tan Van killed was due to a conflict or other problem, because of the motive of appropriating the property. Le Tan Van's property did not come from anyone, even though it was his close relatives in the family among one of the victims found, proving that death due to Van poisoning included both the biological mother of his lover Lin Kuang and the defendant's brother-in-law in addition, Le Tan Van is also considered to be involved in the sudden death of the accused's two legal husbands. There is always this poison in the pair, taking advantage of the moment, while eating and drinking, especially when the victim has left, for example, to go to the bathroom or go away from the dining table, at that time, the accused takes advantage of the time to put a small amount in a glass of water or a bowl of noodle soup. After that, the victim is going to eat, only in a very short time about one minute is maximum, even eating or drinking and then immediately collapses on the spot, after clarifying the method about the criminal intentions of the subjects of the investigation agency continue to fight with Le Tan Van to clarify the origin of the cyanide that our town possesses. However, once again Van played the trick of coping, however, with the fierce attack of the investigator, the subject finally confessed to buying Chinite at a chemical store on to Hugh Street, Ho Chi Minh City, from the testimony of Van, the investigating agency, conducted a review of all chemical shops on this route and many different goods trading locations in Ho Chi Minh City, but the final result was not as expected. Check has already been verified, doesn't mean that Van has a sister. The points above Ho Chi Minh City are the ones that sell chemicals. But there's that road, the point of selling chemicals. Really, but never have this substance or maybe there is but ordinary people can't buy it because this substance is forbidden to import and later heard that it is imported but there must be conditions, there must be conditions if you don't want to enter, then enter, 
The investigation agency takes a lot of effort to find that answer, but it still hasn't worked, now still in debt, has not proven to be the source of this cyanide. Where did it come from and where did Van know how to use this source to poison the victims? On the basis of documents collected during the whole investigation and verification process combined with the testimony of a number of people who know the work, especially the confession life of Ellie Tan Van, Tu Yen Kuang with the investigation agency of the Ministry of Public Security. The police had enough grounds to suggest that the procuracy prosecute Ellie Tan Van for murder, robbery, and illegal possession of toxic substances, as for Lin Kuang, who was prosecuted for two counts of murder and robbery. Courts at all levels agree that Ellie Tan Van is the main culprit who killed 13 victims to rob property with a total value of more than 300 million BND, Lin Kuang is an accomplice with Ellie Tan Van to kill him. Tran Van Khoi to appropriate a dream motorcycle with license plate number 51T80623. The procuratorate's argument that the defendant's behavior was particularly serious, disregarding the lives and health of others, despite the legal consequences, the defendants committed the crime with the intention of calculating with sophisticated tricks, cunning, extremely cruel, determined to carry out the crime to the end on the basis of the indictment of the Control Institute and the guilty plea of the defendants, the People's Court of Binduang Province sentenced Ellie Tan Van to 18 years in prison for robbery, 15 years in prison for illegal possession of poison, and death penalty for murder. The penalty is death Lin Kuang received a 17-year prison sentence for two counts of murder and robbery, in the cemetery of Thursday Daumot Town, Binduang Province, Ellie Tan Van had to execute the death sentence. To pay the price for the crime that heaven does not use, the earth does not forgive, closes the life of a unique witch in the history of Vietnamese proceedings, the end of Ellie Tan Van is the inevitable consequence of those disregard human life, defying the law to satisfy a selfish lifestyle, here again proves that criminals, no matter how sophisticated and malicious, sooner or later have to submit to pay the price because they overcome difficulties, overcome suffering, unite and resolve to fight crime and protect the peaceful life of people. The people are always the principle and goal of all officers and soldiers in the People's Public Security Force. Greetings you and see you in the next case file programs.